How to compute the equivalent resistance of an infinite ladder resistor network is shown here. So imagine we have a passive resistive network uh, in the sort of a, in, the, in the format of an infinite ladder shown here. Um, so starting from here, we have resistor R, and uh, that is used as the same value for all resistors you can see in this infinite ladder network, and this continues forever, um, infinite. So with this, we want to compute the equivalent resistance according, uh, assuming R is a finite resistive value. So, uh, well, the first thing we need to do is maybe just a little simplification of the shape of this resistive network, which uh, can, can be also sketched uh, like this. So starting from, let's say, point A and node B, so node A and node B as input nodes, um, I'm going to continue. And for node B, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep resistor R. All right. And uh, of course, between this point and this point, we have resistor R. OK. And then from this node, which is A, we have resistor R as well, this resistor. And you can see that um, there is another resistor after that going down. I'm going to show it this way. So these two, these points are shown as one point. I just separate them. And then after this point, we have another resistor R. So resistor R. And then finally, you can see that we get to this point. Uh, from there, there is a resistor going up. So we have resistor going up, R. OK, no resistor here. These two are short together to form this point. And Finally, we have a resistor R, and bottom we have nothing, and then another resistor R going down, and so on. So this continues, this, this whole thing continues forever in this infinite um, ladder resistor network. So as you can see, um, if you look from the input, which where you, find, you want to find the equivalent or input resistance of this network, you can see actually when you look from this point inward also you see the same thing it's only flipped meaning that imagine your node b is here and imagine your node a is here when you look from this point toward the infinite ladder resistive network you can see exactly what you're seeing from this side because of that the fact that this thing is going on forever so that means if this is a finite value, it should also be observed here as well, because there is no difference. Looking at this way, you would see exactly as what you see looking at this way. So you know what? We can, with this observation, we can simplify the whole thing in this manner. So A, B, this is what I want to find, equivalent resistor. And I'm going to keep R. I'm going to keep this R as well. Okay, so these two R's in his, uh, R or resistors are in place. And now, from this point on, I have a repetition of what I want to find. So it's going to be um, R equivalent again. Now it is way more simpler to deal with this problem. I can just say uh, simply um, R equivalent or equivalent resistance is equal to this resistor in series of these two in parallel. So it's going to be this plus these two in parallel. So it's R plus this R in parallel with equivalent resistance that I want to find. So from here, it's obvious that the equivalent resistance is R plus, and this is R times R equivalent divided by R plus R equivalent. All right, from here on, it's just a matter of simplifying things. So what I'm going to get is what I look, what I want to find is equal to, I can move this to the other side. So R equivalent minus R. And then I can multiply both sides with R plus R equivalent. So, okay, is equal to R times the equivalent resistance and this further simplifies to uh, what I want to find square minus 
r square is equal to r r equivalent and therefore the second order uh, equation for the only unknown that I'm looking for looks like something like this okay so I need to find the equivalent resistance value that uh, satisfies this requirement here that's all I need to do and obviously from here you can say equivalent resistance is just minus minus r plus r plus minus mathematically speaking uh, r square minus four times this guy times one so it's plus four times r square divided by two times the coefficient of the second order component so it's going to be two all right so simplifying this you get r over two times I just factored out r over, r over 2, it's 1 plus minus uh, square root of uh, r squared plus 4r squared is 5, and I factored out r, so that. And 1 minus square root of 5 is not acceptable value, that's a negative value. Resistor can't be for negative for passive net resistive network, so the minus is not acceptable. So therefore, the equivalent resistance of this network is just r over 2 times 1 plus square root of 5. That's it. You found a value. If uh, you want to know the exact value, that is 1.618 uh, times r. That's it. There are many variants of this problem. Uh, for example, another variant of this problem is rather than having this sort of network, you can have um, this version. So, um, very similar just a little bit different topology so let's say you have a b input nodes um, so you have rr and this goes on forever so you might have this topology as well for the infinite ladder resistive network uh, this goes on forever um, okay something like this and this goes on forever and for this one you can use the same technique if you look at it, if you're interested to find the equivalent resistance here, you can actually look into uh, this, uh, into, into the ladder network through these nodes, and you would see exactly the same thing. So same trick you can use here. And uh, if you use that same trick, you end up with uh, resistor R, another resistor R, another resistor R, uh, this is what you want to find and this has to be what you want to find so now your uh, your whole equivalent circuit looks like this and for this one you need to do the same trick the only difference is this time our equivalent is r plus r plus so it's 2r plus r in parallel with equivalent resistance and you have to solve for this very similar to the other